Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn books into secret compartments two ways. This is a super easy and fun project that is awesome for your library and is really cool to hide your stash, hide your money, hide whatever you want and no one will ever know. So let's get started. For this project, you will need an empty cigar box, which I got for free from the cigar shop. You will need books, which I got for 97 cents each from Goodwill, a hot glue gun, a box cutter, and a piece of cardboard. I started out by breaking off the lid from the cigar box because we actually don't need a lid. And then I also cleaned it out with a wet paper towel just to make sure any remnants from the cigars were not in there. Even though it smelled really good, I just didn't want any leftovers inside. Then I got all my books and started taking out all the paper inside and just leaving the binding and the hard cover. For this part, you will definitely need a box cutter. Do this to all your books. This is the part that probably most of you are going to get confused, so listen carefully. I have six books, and in between those six books, there are four books. For those four books, I'm cutting out the bindings and then leaving two books with the hard cover on them. As you can see here, the two books that I left the hardcover on, one has the left hardcover and then one has the right hardcover. This will make sure that the whole cigar box is covered on the sides and it'll make your project look more realistic. Now get your piece of cardboard and make sure it's cut out to the measurements of the cigar box to where you'll be gluing the bindings on. I got some leftover paper from all the insides of the books that I took out and I just hot glued it onto the cardboard just to make sure it looked very nice and presentable on the other side even though you're not going to see it if someone does look at it it'll look nice you know what I mean now the other side of the cardboard which is the ugly side is now going to be covered by all the bindings now just start organizing them how you want them to look i usually put them by color coordination or will look good to the eye and then i started hot gluing them on As you can see here, some of the bindings are a bit short, so I just went in with my box cutter and cut out any extra paper that was showing just to make sure it looked legit when it was in the library. These minor details go a long way. Now I went ahead and started hot gluing the book cover onto the cigar box and this is basically the last part. After that, you're done. I 
I am so excited to see how this looks in the library. Oh my god, it's gonna look so legit. For this second project, all you're going to need is a book and a box cutter. I do recommend that the book is a little thick just so you can really cut into it and really hide something that you want and it won't be so small and skimpy and all you have to fit in there is money or coins. We want to hide like a phone or your wallet, you know, we wanted that kind of size. Start by drawing a rectangle on your book. I believe I started at page 70. You can go deeper, but I thought maybe page 70 was good enough. Anyways, get your box cutter and then start cutting out that shape and just go deeper and deeper and then sooner than you know, you're going to have a secret compartment in your book. When I figured I had a decent sized compartment inside the book, I just started hot gluing the inside of the edges and they all stick together so no pages move when you put anything inside. Or when you stand the book up and you know how sometimes it opens, it'll be perfectly fine. Really, hot glue works miracles. And then after that, you're done. Put whatever you want inside and place it in your library and no one will ever know there's something inside of it. 